Aquagenic urticaria, the allergy to water. Okay, imagine this. You step into the shower expecting warmth and relaxation, and instead your skin erupts into burning hives. Not from heat, not from chemicals, but from water itself. That's aquagenic urticaria, an extremely rare condition where touching water triggers hives, redness, and stinging pain. It doesn't matter if it's hot, cold, salted, filtered, or even tears from your own eyes. Doctors believe water dissolves certain compounds in the skin, which then trigger an immune reaction, like setting off a fire alarm that never should have gone off. Imagine living in a world where crying hurts, where a summer day is dangerous, and where a shower becomes a battle you have to mentally prepare for. It's the kind of condition that makes you sit back and whisper, the body shouldn't be able to do that, but it does. And if you think that's strange, wait until you hear about the disorder that makes people crave things no human should ever eat. Pica, craving what shouldn't be eaten. Now let's talk cravings, but not the I need chocolate kind. Think chalk, think sand, paper, metal, or even soap. That's pica, a disorder where people feel compelled to eat non-food items. It's not grossness, it's not attention seeking. It's the brain rewiring the craving system, making non-food items feel necessary. People with pica don't just eat odd things, they feel pulled toward them, like their body is trying to communicate in the strangest language possible. Often it appears when the body lacks nutrients like iron or zinc. The brain, confused and desperate, misfires and creates cravings that make no logical sense. Sometimes it's tied to stress, trauma, pregnancy, or developmental conditions. There's something strangely poetic about it. Your biology tricking you into consuming the world in the wrong way. But speaking of the body misbehaving, the next disorder doesn't change what you crave, it changes how you smell, and not in a small way. Fish odor syndrome, when the body smells like the sea. Imagine walking into a room and people smell you before they even see you, and no amount of deodorant, showering, or soap makes it stop. That's trimethylaminuria, better known as fish odor syndrome. A condition where the body releases a strong, fishy odor through sweat, breath, and even urine. Why? Because the liver normally breaks down a chemical called trimethylamine, a molecule with a powerful natural smell. But in this disorder, a faulty enzyme prevents the liver from doing its job. So the molecule escapes, and the smell goes with it. Physically, it's harmless. Emotionally, it's brutal. Dating becomes terrifying. Classrooms feel like battlegrounds. Workplaces turn into silent anxiety chambers. It's a reminder that you never truly know what someone is going through, or in this case, what they're carrying on them. But if smelling like the sea sounds unbelievable, the next condition might shock you even more, because it can make people drunk without drinking a single drop. Auto brewery syndrome, when your gut makes alcohol. This one sounds like a joke, but it's absolutely real. Imagine eating pasta and getting drunk. Imagine having a glass of orange juice and failing a breathalyzer test. Imagine waking up hungover despite drinking nothing at all. That's auto brewery syndrome, where certain gut microbes ferment carbohydrates into alcohol. Your stomach becomes a brewery. Your intestines become a bar you never ask to open. It happens because an overgrowth of yeast, often the same type used to brew beer, settles in the intestines. When these yeasts digest sugar, they produce ethanol, just like in a real brewery. People with this disorder can become intoxicated from bread, soda, rice, or even fruit. They get accused of lying, of secretly drinking, of hiding bottles, when in reality, their own biology is betraying them. It sounds funny, until you realize how chaotic life becomes. And if you think turning food into alcohol is strange, the next disorder turns something else entirely. It transforms hair growth into a full-body phenomenon straight out of folklore. Werewolf Syndrome Imagine looking in the mirror and seeing yourself covered head to toe in hair. Thick, long, and unrelenting. That's hypertrichosis, also known as werewolf syndrome. For some people, it's genetic, a mutation that switches certain hair follicles on everywhere. For others, it can be triggered by medications or hormonal conditions. It doesn't hurt, and it doesn't affect cognitive abilities. But it changes everything about how the world sees you. 
Historically, people with hypertrichosis were displayed in circuses, treated as attractions rather than human beings. Behind the myth, though, is a person trying to live, love, work, and be understood. It's a reminder that sometimes the biggest struggle isn't the disorder, but society's reaction to it. But if hair covering the body seems surreal, wait until you meet people whose skin changes color entirely, turning a deep shade of blue. Blue Skin Disorder Met Hemoglobinemia Imagine waking up completely yourself, except your skin is blue. Not from cold, not from dye, but because your blood isn't carrying oxygen properly. That's Met Hemoglobinemia, a disorder where hemoglobin, the protein that transports oxygen, transforms into a form that can't do its job. With less oxygen delivered to the tissues, the skin takes on a blue or slate gray tint. Sometimes it's genetic. Sometimes it's caused by medications or chemicals. The most famous example was the Blue Fugate family of Kentucky, whose rare mutation turned generations of their skin a deep blue. Imagine the questions, the stares, the constant, are you okay? Even when this is simply how your body works. Blue is a beautiful color, just not usually on human skin. But if blue skin feels like something from a fantasy story, the next disorder sounds like a dark fairy tale come to life, where skin begins to grow like bark. Tree Man Syndrome, when skin grows like bark. This one feels ripped straight out of a myth. Tree Man Syndrome causes wart-like growths to spread across the body, forming thick, bark-like plates. It typically happens due to a rare genetic mutation that makes the immune system unable to control certain strains of HPV. Instead of fighting the virus, the body lets it run wild, and the skin responds with massive keratin growths. Hands can become heavy and claw-like. Feet can become layered with tough, bark-like lesions. Even simple movements become exhausting. People with this condition often struggle to walk, hold objects, or even feed themselves not because of pain, but because their skin has quite literally reshaped them. It's haunting. It's heartbreaking. A small genetic flaw with massive consequences. But if having skin that grows like bark sounds extreme, the next disorder turns soft tissue into something even more unthinkable. Bone. Stone man syndrome. When flesh turns to bone. This one is as rare as it is devastating. Imagine your muscles slowly turning into bone. Not metaphorically. Literally. Fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva, FOP, causes the body to grow bone inside muscles, tendons, and ligaments. It creates a second skeleton that traps the body from the inside. A mutation in the ACVR1 gene causes the body to repair injuries by forming bone instead of soft tissue. So, a fall, a bump, surgery, or even a simple injection can trigger irreversible bone growth. People with FOP move like delicate statues. They avoid injury like it's a predator waiting to strike. Every movement is a careful negotiation. It's one of the most dramatic examples of the body going completely off script. And just when you think the human body can't get any stranger, the next disorder blurs the line between biology and mystery. Morgellons disease, the skin that feels alive. Now we drift into the unknown. Morgellons is a condition where people feel crawling, stinging, or burning sensations beneath their skin and report fibers emerging from tiny lesions. Some researchers believe it's a complex skin condition. Others point toward nerve dysfunction, chronic infection, or immune system issues. Imagine lying awake at night, feeling like electricity is racing through your body. Imagine seeing fibers appear and having no explanation. Imagine doctors telling you it's all in your head, while your body insists something is wrong. Whether neurological, dermatological, or something else entirely, Morgellons reminds us how much of the human body remains a mystery. And speaking of misunderstood conditions, the next one flips one of the body's most private switches and refuses to turn it off. Persistent Genital Arousal Disorder the body stuck on, on. One of the most misinterpreted conditions in all of medicine. PGAD is not desire, not pleasure, and not emotional arousal. 
It's unwanted, uncontrollable physical arousal that can last for hours, days, or even longer. It often happens when nerves in the pelvic region become compressed or misfire, like a switch stuck in the on position. Hormonal changes, stress, and physical injury can trigger it too. People with PGAD describe it as pressure, buzzing, tension, or pain. Overwhelming sensations they can't control or predict. Imagine trying to work, shop, commute, while your body behaves like it's in a completely different scenario. It's terrifying, it's isolating, and it's deeply misunderstood. Sometimes the body doesn't ask for permission. Sometimes it simply flips a switch and refuses to flip it back. The human body isn't just a machine. It's a story. And sometimes the script gets rewritten in the most shocking ways. These aren't just medical curiosities. They're reminders that the line between the possible and the impossible is thinner than we think. That for every rule in biology, there's an exception, living, breathing, and fighting to be understood. So tell me in the comments, which disorder shocked you the most? And why? If you want to explore more of the lines biology shouldn't cross, you're in the right place. Hit subscribe and ring the bell. We dive deep so you never miss a story that changes how you see the human body. Thanks for watching and stay curious.